Hey everybody, you're on the lot with Stephen Hill here at Jaguar Land Rover West Houston. And behind me I've got the 2023 Range Rover Autobiography. And I want to show off the new 4.4 liter V8 engine. So check it out. All right, first things first, let me show you how the uh, hood opens. The release on the older versions was over here, but they've moved it right here where it's really visible. You kind of pull from the right side. That does the release. Close her down. What I found out with the Range Rovers is it's right-handed. So take your right hand, find the R, and it's kind of in the middle here. You'll just slide it to the left. That's gonna open up the, uh, the engine bay. And what you're gonna see here first is a, obviously the Land Rover cover, and you have the big torsion bar here. It gives the vehicle structural support. And then you'll see these big, huge openings in the hood. This is the aluminum hood. So you see the air actually goes through the openings here, the little snorkels on the side, and your air intakes on the left and right side of the car. Let's the engine breathe. What's really cool about it is you can go through almost three feet of water. I think the official spec is 35.43. So almost three feet of water. There's a three different access, uh, three different heights. There's access height, normal ride height, and off-road height. All right, back to the engine. I already loosened. So I'm gonna remove the cover so you can kind of see the engine and you'll see the little nubs that hold the, um, the little cover on here. The little nubs on the back as well. So here's the star of the show. So um, we took the 4.4-liter uh, V8 engine from BMW. It's a twin turbo. And you can see these um, turbos on the back of the engine here. And what we've done is we actually um, added the ceramic um, bearings as well as the water cooler and the Valvetronic variable intake lifts. Um, what that does for us is it, it almost eliminates your turbo lag completely and uh, makes it almost unnoticeable. So um, this one has a zero to 60 time of, what was it, uh, 4.6 seconds. It's actually zero to 62 miles an hour, 4.6 seconds. And then you can see we put the um, intercoolers up high here and here. The um, intercoolers for the engine used to be kind of in big openings, these big huge openings on the, the driver's side and the passenger side of the vehicle. So those have been moved up high. You see the torsion bar again, air box going into the, the vehicle. And then we actually beefed up the uh, starter motor so this car can start up in some of the coldest climates in the world, uh, which is pretty awesome as well. All right, I moved the cover over so I can show you where your positive and negative terminals are. So your positive terminal right here under this cover, negative terminal there. I believe they still have the battery in the um, trunk area um, underneath the spare tire. And then um, also what we did to modify this engine, Land Rovers have to um, go off-road at extreme angles. So we um, added an extra oil sumps to the vehicle. It allows the vehicle to articulate up to 45 degrees. So, you know, 45 degrees vertical or going down a decline side to side. I don't know if the car can handle 45 degrees sideways without flipping over. So I'll have to look that up. But um, pretty cool, pretty excited about um, Get to take one of these out and drive it a little bit more. We drove these in Nevada, um, but had, they were in a caravan style, so we really didn't get to get them really up there and get, get after it. But pretty cool engine. Wanted to share that with you guys. Please take a moment and um, like and share and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me. You're on the lot with Stephen Hill. All right, now we looked under the hood and got to see the engine. I wanted to talk a little bit about the new body on the Generation 5 Range Rover. So even though this car looks a little bit beefier and, and a little bit more boxy, believe it or not, than the previous generation, it's actually more aerodynamic. In fact, Land Rover says that this is the most aerodynamic vehicle they've ever built. And to give you an idea of how this car um, flows through the, um, through the wind, this has a coefficient of drag of 0 0.30. A Prius has a coefficient of drag of 0.25. And um, if you took a, like a Cadillac Escalade, that one's 0.35. So very, very aerodynamic should really help with your um, fuel economies, your emissions, that kind of stuff. I wanna show you how these rear wheels actually turn up to 7.3 degrees when you're moving at slow speeds, and they're gonna counter steer to make this car have a turning radius of 35.9 feet, which is the same as a Honda Civic. It's pretty amazing, um, so check out the next video.
All right guys, so the new Range Rover still features the four wheel independent multi-link suspension, as you can see under here. And it still has the air shocks with the twin valve dampers. What's kind of new about it, let me take you around to show you the back of the car. They got some new stuff under here, so let me uh, get down low. All right, so you've got the quad exhausts that are hidden, so you can't see them anymore, but they're right here on the V8. And you can see this. Let me get under here and try to get a little bit closer for you. So this is the new uh, five link rear suspension that allows those wheels to turn up to 7.3 degrees. And then also I was wondering what this bar was under here. So see this torsion bar? Let me try to get the sun out the way. See this big, huge bar right there? They've done a really cool thing here. This is uh, the roll technology. It's called the Dynamic Roll Response Pro. It's currently standard on all the Range Rovers, but they're gonna make it optional on the SE. Um, going forward, but they have a 48 volt um, electrical system and um, super capacitors. They can deliver up to 660, all the way up to 1,032 foot pounds of torque to help the car not roll. And this is actually tied into the navigation system on the car. So when you're coming around a, a corner, the car already knows it's about to corner and it can uh, within 200 uh, milliseconds deliver that torque right to the wheels and keep the car from, uh, from leaning or rocking side to side. Really, really cool stuff under here. And then you can see the exhaust. You know, you've got two, two um, pipes coming through. They split, come into your muffler here, and then you have your quad exhausts, two on each side. So now I wanted to let you guys see underneath the car. A lot going on in there. Pretty cool though. All right, finally, without any further ado, you're probably wanting to hear what the uh, new V8 sounds like coming out of the exhaust pipes that are hidden under here. I'm gonna do that next, so check it out. <laughs> 